Hey there, welcome to Spanky Speed Shop. Um, today I'll show you a real quick technique. Um, it's, it's, it's a way to deal with uh, something that's a pain, but it's very, very easy to deal with. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm working on the brakes on this car. Uh, this is Chrysler 300. Um, and one of the things I need to do is in addition to replacing the hub and the pads, because or not the hub, the the rotor, the rotor is shot. I'm replacing the pads as well. Uh, I got to pull the hub because I'm replacing the hub assembly as well. The, uh, the discovered the other side. The hub was completely shot, and the parking brake inside of here on the other side was completely rusted out. So I had to replace all of that as well. And you always replace them in pairs. So I've got some nice, a nice new Moog hub that I'm going to be putting in. But um, I want to show you a technique for pulling off this axle nut. This axle nut is hard as hell. It's torqued on. It's 157 foot pounds of torque. How do you get it off? And it's a really, really simple procedure. I'm going to start demonstrating with just one hand, but all it takes is a block of wood, a big old wrench, a couple of lug nuts. So what we do is we take the wrench and there's always an angle on it. Do it angle side in. We're just going to set it just like that. No big deal. And then we just take a lug nut and we throw it on. And we take this lug nut and throw it on. And the reason this second lug nut is here is to trap the wrench in on it. Uh, so let me spin these by hand real quick. And so If I had a tripod and time lapse, I could do this quickly, but it just got me in one hand. So bear with me. Again, it's not really that hard. It just works well. So there we go. We've got uh, the wrench. Uh, I need to pull that up just a hair. So otherwise I'm gonna get caught. There we go. So I have my wrench and my lug nut. Yay. My block of wood. I set the block of wood right here. I make sure the jack stand is out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna very carefully lower this down so the wrench just touches the block of wood. Now I can't do this uh, and record at the same time, so I'm gonna stop recording for a moment. Okay, so I've lowered it down. You'll see it's just touching the block of wood. Why am I using a block of wood? Well, because Otherwise, the next step is going to cause that uh, wrench to chew up your concrete. Let's not have that. So the block of wood is there uh, specifically to protect the concrete. So next step. Now, well, got our axle nut uh, socket. No big deal. And a breaker bar. See where I'm going with this, right? And a cheater bar. Well, I don't have a cheater bar. Yes, you do. If you have a floor jack in your shop, you have the greatest cheater bar ever. You just pull this out of the floor jack and you just cheater bar this bad boy in. And we just come up here and oops, switching hands. And with very minimal effort, that's all it takes to break that axle nut loose. Stupid easy, work harder, not smarter. Stop that, reverse it. Work smarter, not harder. Thanks for watching.